All right, we got a question here in the Facebook group. What is recommended to probably to do with items that will not be stocked again? Uh, if you'd like to ask questions to us in the Facebook group, check the link down below and you can get in there. So for items in QuickBooks point of sale that will not be stocked again, uh, there was one suggestion that you could just mark them as unorderable so that it won't try and remind you to order them on your reminders or your, you know, your reorder points, which is fine. And then to move them to uh, a department called, you know, old or inactive or something like that. And you can certainly do that, too, if you want to keep the item around for reference and to look at it. Uh, I will tell you that you can certainly just go ahead and delete the item if you'd like. One thing you want to make sure is that the quantity is not like in stock or negative. So you're going to want to have zero in stock when you delete them. Uh, let me find an actual product. So this chef coat, if we're not, well, that's a, that's a style item. So let's not do that one. Uh, let's see, non-inventory, non-inventory. I got so many weird items in here. All right, we got a hose. So let's say the hose, we're never gonna order that again. Uh, the thing that happens when you delete an item is it gets rid of the object in the database that represents this item. And by object, I mean the, the record in the point of sale database that holds the information and the history and all that kind of stuff. So if I delete this, this item will be out of the database. However, people are often concerned about their past history with the item. Now I will tell you, you can delete the item itself and it's not gonna like rip it off of the past receipts or the past receiving. You can still actually do reporting on sales uh, for this item in the reports. You could filter by this item if you knew the item number or the item name. You just can't go to the item list and find the item if it's deleted, it's kind of gone. But every time you make a receipt and every time you make a receiving voucher, it kind of like imprints the item on those documents. So if you go and run a report on sales or on purchasing and receiving, it will pull the information for those reports from the receiving or from the receipt and sales. And so since it's not pulling that information from the item itself, it's pulling it from the past historical documents, you can still do reporting and you can still look up re receipts that that item was on or a person who purchased it. You can do all those things, but you can go ahead and delete the item and just, it won't be there anymore. It won't be orderable anymore. It will stay on the historical documents though. All right.